Section 2.4, Average Rate of Change, Increasing and Decreasing Functions. The average rate of change is just basically the slope, but you're not looking at a linear equation. It could be any curve. You can think of it as just being the change in y over the change in x. Or if you know the function, it is the average rate of change from point A to B is f of B minus f of A over B minus A. Here's a graph that illustrates that. If this is the interval that you're looking at from A to B, plug in A, plug in B, you actually get those values. And then the average rate of change would be the change in Y, which is F of B minus F of A, over the change in X, which would be B minus A. This line that connects any two points on the curve is called the secant line. You should have learned that in geometry, talking about circles. The secant connects two points in a circle. A secant line on a graph connects two points on the graph. So let's look at an example where we calculate the average rate of change. We're given the function f of x equals x squared plus 4. Find the average rate of change of the function between the following points. From 2 to 6. So the first thing we need to do is plug in both 2 and 6. So plug in 2. 2 squared plus 4. That is 4 plus 4, which is 8. Plug in 6. 6 squared plus 4. That's 36 plus 4, which is 40. So we have our two points. These are our f of x values. These are just the x values. You could call this a and b to go along with the formula we had on the previous slide. So f of b is 40, minus f of a is 8, over b minus a, 6 minus 2, that's 32 over 4, which is 8. Part B, we're going to plug in 5 and 10. So if x is 5, f of x would be 5 squared plus 4, which is 29. Plug in 10. 10 squared plus 4 is 104. So now plugging into our equation, again, this would be A, this would be B for the equation. F of B minus F of A, 104 minus 29 over B minus A, 10 minus 5. So that's 75 over 5. is 15. Part C. We're now plugging in A and A plus H. We're not plugging in numbers anymore. This is generalizing. 
when we every plug in values, we're just going to generalize. So I'll go more into detail on what this means in a minute. So if you plug in a for f of x, we would have a squared plus 4. If we plug in a plus h, it would be a plus h squared plus 4. Uh, we need to do, we need to FOIL this out to simplify. So it would be a squared plus 2ah plus h squared plus 4. So now, again, we call this first point A, the second point B. So it's f of B minus f of A. So A squared plus 2AH plus H squared plus 4 minus f of A, A squared plus 4. over b minus a, a plus h minus a. So we have a squared minus a squared, those are going to cancel. 4 minus 4, those will cancel. So on top, we have h squared plus 2ah over, on the bottom the a's cancel out, a minus a, so we just have over h. We can simplify that a little bit further because everything has an h, so we can cancel that out. h squared divided by h is h, 2ah divided by h just to A. So let's go over what these what this means when we have A and A plus H. As I said earlier, it is generalizing. Our first point is A, which means it could be any number that we want it to be. The next one is a plus h, which means it's just h units further on the x-axis. So it doesn't matter what the two numbers are. If you know the first one and then how much further away the second one is, that means that our slope, our average rate of change, is related to just those things, our first number, and then how much further away the second number was. Here's another example. Average speed of a falling object. If an object is dropped from a height of 3,000 feet, its distance above the ground in feet after t seconds is given by the equation h of t equals 3,000 minus 16 t squared. Find the object's average speed for the following times. So between 1 and 2 seconds, that means a is 1, b is 2. f of a then would equal 3,000 minus 16 times 1 squared. So 3,000 minus 16. which is 2984. Now plug in two seconds. It's 3,000 minus 16 times 4. That's 3,000 minus 64, which is 
2,936. So now plugging into our equation, f of b minus f of a over b minus a. 2,936 minus 2,984 over b minus a, 2 minus 1. So that is negative 48 over 1, just negative 48. Now between 4 and 5 seconds, again that's A and B, so F of A will be 3,000 minus 16 times 16. That's 3,000 minus 256. Which is 2,744. Now when we plug in 5 for b, f of b equals 3,000 minus 16 times 25, that is 3,000 minus 400. which is 2,600. So now if we plug it into our equation, f of b, 2,600, minus f of a, 2,744, over b minus a, 5 minus 4, that's negative 144 over 1, or just negative 144. That means between 1 and 2 seconds, it's falling 48 feet per second. And between 4 and 5 seconds, its average speed would be that it's falling at 144 feet per second.